Hi everyone, I keep meeting people that say they want to start getting into video editing when they're out fishing. Um, my advice to you is go for it because it's great fun. Not because you can monetize it or make yourself known, but because you can look back at it in years to come and relive the experience and it's really, really enjoyable thing to do. So the first thing everyone thinks they need to do is go out and buy the most expensive action camera they can afford. My advice is don't do that. Pretty much everything I do now is done on my phone. Ever since iPhone 7, they've been waterproof. Um, a waterproof phone is a good idea. One of the main problems with action cameras is if you've no idea whereabouts uh, your frame is, and because you want to get the highest resolution possible, so that if you're gonna zoom in on anything, it doesn't go all pixelated, you wanna make sure that you've got a good idea as to where your outer frame is on your video. So using the um, reverse side of the camera, you can look at the screen, and make sure that everything you're recording is in the middle of the screen where you want it. Whoops. Uh, the more you can spend, the better, because you get better lighting. I'm recording this on an iPhone 7, so that I can show you what I do with my iPhone 7, uh, 12. So first off, um, I use a selfie stick, and what I do is I put it into an extra long bank stick, and on there I have got a tube taped on, and I just pop my selfie stick into the tube a snug fit my phone goes in there and most banks will take that and I can adjust it to the height that I want it to go to and I can also if I want to if I'm roving put a landing net hand uh, landing net head in at the top and use it as a bank a landing net as well and you get some good shots actually with the, the camera on there close-ups of you landing the fish so the second thing is sound quality is really important I've got the Rode um, iPhone mic now, just do a sound check if you buy one of these. It's really good, but I think um, you might need to do a software update, which they don't tell you when you buy this. But what I'm mean, using increasingly, um, if I'm just with one other angler, is um, one of these. So that goes in to the Bluetooth charging port, and that radios up to two little clip-on mics. And I think it was 30 quid from Amazon. I'll put a link on. There's no sponsorship going on here. What I also bought was dead cats, that's those big fluffy things that you see that reduce uh, wind noise on the mic, but those just clip on. These last surprisingly long actually once they're charged up. They're very lightweight and you can have up to two people. I did buy a second set to see if I could have four people, but it turns out they um, were on a different frequency, so um, that didn't work. So the other thing I like to take is my charging block for my iPhone and an extra long lead so I can put this on the floor, that can go in the phone and I can keep recording. Now you're probably wondering how do I do that if I've got the microphone antenna plugged into the lightning port. So this is my solution. I've got my selfie stick and my iPhone 12 on the back. Hey presto, the selfie stick's not holding the phone, it's holding my charging block. This is a new charging block with a magnetic um, charging thing on there. So that's great. It means I can charge my phone, it's waterproof, and I can still have my um, antenna or receiver, I'm not sure what it is, you know, for the microphone. Um, so yeah, can use a wireless mic whilst charging, which is a game changer. Brilliant cliche, huh? The other thing is also, I do a little bit more movement on the, on this, because it's on the magnet, to get that perfect uh, horizontal plane. So action cameras do have their place. One that I continue to use is this Drift Ghost, and it's on a uh, one of these, so I can wrap it around trees, I can use it as a normal tripod. Um, yeah, it's dead handy. But the um, action camera has got extra big battery in it, and will last probably for about eight hours before it switches off. So if you're worried about running out storage space on your phone, um, it's worth getting something like that. It's a nice wide angle as well. To make a good video, you want different angled shots. So if you've got, the more devices you've got rolling, the better really. But you don't want to bog yourself down. All I take is my phone, my microphones, my charging block, and maybe sometimes this. Okay, so just a few technical things you need to think about is uh, whether you're gonna be processing or editing your videos uh, on a PC or on your phone. My advice would be to try and do it on your phone. Over the years I've used an app called Splice, forget iMovie, it's awful, 
Um, there's another couple of uh, apps which I'll put in the description that do quite a good job. Um, or you can use a PC and use a proper um, editing suite so you can tweak with the, the um, audio a little bit better and put graphics in. I hope that's useful and I hope you do give it a go. Um, and yeah, don't be shy. Thank <laughs> you.